Welcome. My name is Alex. This is Caesar, if you can see him. I am here with 10 minutes of yoga for your hips. We will start right away in a tabletop. Knees about hip width, hands or shoulder width. We're gonna draw some circles with the torso. Lower the hips down to the right, to the left, back and around. Explore your range of motion. Feeling a stretch through the hips and the tops of the feet, the toes, switch the direction. Going right to left, forward and back. Table top, neutral spine somewhere in the middle. Extend your right leg, stretch through the calf and the foot, and then lift the right leg back and up, keep it hip height. Bend the right knee, and then rotate the hip to the right, down and around. Just a few times, keep the elbow soft so that you can keep your torso level. Step the right foot up between the hands. Use your hand to assist if you need to. Prop up onto fingertips. Keep the right knee over the right ankle. Feel the left hip flexor start to open up. Lower the chin if you need more. Tuck the chin and the tailbone if you need even more. Breathe in and out through the nose. Lift the chin, lift the back knee, tuck the toes, we are in a lunge. Inhale, lower the left knee, shoulders back, feel the left hip flexor even more. Long exhale back. Try to straighten both legs. Come back to a lunge and back to tabletop. One cat cow to reset. Inhale, open the front of the body, press the hands and the feet down. And long exhale, scoop the tailbone, tuck the chin. neutral spine somewhere in the middle. Left leg reaches back, keep the toes on the mat to begin with. Say you're stretching through the calf and the foot. And then we'll lift the left leg back, bend the knee and go out in and around. Using your glute to explore the range of motion that you have in the hip. Step the right or left foot up between the hands. Prop up onto fingertips. Left knee is directly over the left ankle. And if you need more, you're gonna lower the chin and draw the tailbone forward. Increase the breath. Lift your chin, lift the back knee, set up a lunge, and then leave the back toes tucked. Inhale, lower the right knee, shoulders back. Long exhale, try to straighten both legs. Lunge, we're gonna step back two tabletop, one more cat cow, inhale. 
long exhale. Neutral spine. Let's bring the right knee up behind the right wrist. The foot is a cross pigeon. Try to square your hips to the top of the mat. Don't worry about it being perfect because this is a shorter flow. We're going to feel the outside of the right glute. Lift up to begin. And then soften over your legs onto a pillow or a block or your hands. Slow down the breath to intensify the stretch and to bring yourself to the present moment. Soften out any tension that may have crept up. Press into the hands. Bring yourself back up to a lunge. Tuck the back toes. Right sole of the foot is on the mat. And continue to bring the right foot to the right side of the mat. Both hands are inside of the foot. We are in a lizard lunge now. You may stay propped up. You can go down to forearms. I'm going to stay propped up and curl the tailbone forward and tuck the chin. Breathe in and out through the nose. Calmly, presently. Take one more long breath. And the longer exhale. Right foot is between the hands. Tuck the back toes. Lift the knee for a lunge. And then back knee. And then once more, lower the knee. Toes are tucked. Shoulders back. Long exhale to pyramid pose, try to straighten both legs. Lunge, lower the left knee, tabletop, cat cow, inhale. Longer exhale. Neutral spine. Left knee behind the left wrist for pigeon. We're trying to square the hips to the top of the mat and someday the left shin is parallel to the top edge of the mat. Take a couple of breaths to arrive. And as you're ready, soften forward over the leg Relaxing the jaw, the temples, reconnecting to the breath in and out through the nose. Soften out any Thing that crept up that is interfering with your ability to relax. Press into the hands. Hands help you to lift up. Let's come back to a lunge or just walk the left foot through. We're going into lizard lunge. So lift the back knee if you need to. Both hands are inside 
of the left foot and forearms might be an option or you can try to see if you can intensify this stretch by lo lowering the chin and tucking the tailbone. Press the mat away with the hands and lengthen out the breath. Soften wherever you can that is not related to the pose. Let's press out. Come back to a lunge. Lift the back knee, tuck the toes. Hands frame the left foot, lower the right knee, core in, shoulders back, feel the right hip flexor. Long exhale back, try to straighten both legs. Lunge back to a tabletop. One last cat cow. Inhale. Long exhale. Neutral spine. And from here, bring the knees together, round the back, press back to child's pose. Bring the arms by your sides or anywhere that's comfortable. I'm going to place mine right underneath my forehead. The present moment, the best moment. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe, comment, like, share. I will see you soon. Namaste.